Uh, fabled characters are um, characters that modify the game in some way, that alter the rules or add a rule or change things. They're mods, basically. So uh, the Sentinel, which we're using, it reads there might be one extra or one fewer outsider in play. That's nice and simple. Just modifies the outside account. Stormcatcher is a little bit more complicated. The Stormcatcher reads, name a good character. If in play, they can only die by execution. But evil players learn which player it is. So basically, Ed is going to, when the game begins, is going to say there's a Stormcatcher in play. This good character is in play. All of the evil team will know which player is playing that character. But that character cannot die in the night via, uh, via demon or any other means. They can only die by execution. Oh my god, we're the poisoner, guys. We are the poisoner! Yes! Brilliant. All right. Yeah, I like this. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's let's get a, a stream game where we win two games in a row. Oh, I could poison the I could poison the other minion in case they're an evil twin. Opening bluff. Don't know yet. If there's a snitch in play, we'll get given some bluffs. Honestly, I might just claim snitch. Do we count the last game as a win? Hell yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> hey, you know, if someone gives you a free sandwich, you've still had lunch, guys. Don't have to make your own sandwich. Poison cat. I think we'll... So, I'm either going to poison the other minion in the hopes that they're the evil twin. Or I'm going to poison someone who is... Sat... Wow, there's no there's no empath on this script, is there? So I guess I might poison someone random. Hey there. Hello. Uh, so, your fellow minion is cat. Uh, your demon is Nadine. Okay, okay. Um, and... Ah, oh, see, I... This is the, the weird thing, is that normally in a Stormcatcher game, I would announce during night one to the group that... What character was Stormcourt. And I can't do that. Oh, I can. I do it in text. Cool. Um, you... So I'm assuming I'm yeah, not okay. about to get any bluffs, right? You're not, you're not getting any buffs. Um, yeah. I... Maybe back in a sec. Let me just do something quickly. Okay. So, yeah, we could poison Richie. Um, question is, though, what will that do? Because we currently don't have... As far, as far as I can tell, there are no characters here that interact with their neighbours, apart from the acrobat. So I don't I don't think I don't think that there's any n necessarily any need to poison Richie. But then again, it's just a crapshoot, really, isn't it? I won a lot of the time. But we totally could poison Richie. Yeah. so tempted to put that on the off chance that she's the evil twin. <clears throat> We're growling. Why growling? <laughs> I'm late. What did I miss? Well, you missed a game that was definitely a Legion game. I was correct about it being a Legion game. Uh, I was not wrong about any of the things I said, particularly Legion. Uh, and we won. Now you're just in time for a fresh one. But we're going to be poisoning. Yeah, there's not a lot of useful night one poison roll. I'm just, I'm genuinely... So, let's puzzle this out, guys. If 
if I poison Cat and she's the Saranovus, then whoever she chooses to Saranovus is not mad. If I poison Cat and she's the Mephit, then the Mephit ability doesn't work. It's fine. Hey, Ben. Hello. Would you like to poison someone? So, hypothetical, Ed, if I were to poison Cat and she was the uh, evil twin, can you just take me and chat through how that would go down? Uh, if the evil twin is drunk or poisoned on the first night, then they uh, they might be told another player and a character, but they wouldn't be woken up at the same time. Um, they'd, ju they'd just be told something. Um, and if they sobered up, they would immediately be told um, would would be told an, a good player and character. So, yeah. So tempted just for the for the content. So if she's the Serenovus, it's not the end of the world. If she's the Mephit, basically I can do this, but I just need to get to talk to her first, don't I? Do you know what? This is this is not this is not the time for safe plays. This is the stream. This is the stream! We are partners on Twitch. Let's do it. I'm poisoning cat. Cool, thank you. You're welcome. Ed's just gone away and he's like, what an idiot. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so uh, the choir boy is has been storm caught, guys. So, yep, that's going to get asked over and over again. The storm catcher is protecting a choir boy. Could, we, we could have just massively screwed over Cat. We basically, we need Cat to not come out swinging on day one. Like if she can just, if she is the evil twin, if she can just keep her mouth shut um, for day one, we're golden. Uh, because then on day two, someone's gonna come out and be like, <clears throat> such and such is the evil twin, I'm the good twin. And that's just going to seem odd. Could totally come out as twin with it. That, that is pretty cool. Then we really do run the like. If we try that, we really do run the risk of things going awry. A real twin finds out. It's probably just the Saranovus or something. <clears throat> there is a choir boy. The, the storm catcher, storm caught the choir boy. Evil's not told which player the choir boy is. Evil is told which player the king is. Just to confirm, um, I didn't tell you who the Stormcourt player was. But it was the choir boy, right? I t the Stormcourt character is the choir boy, and I've not told you a player. Oh, specific. you've not told me a player? Yeah. No, you the haven't. Yeah. Okay. That deliberate. Um, yeah, it's not in play. Uh, oh, okay, right. Thank you. The evil team were, were confused when I didn't tell them a player, and I was like, you know what, I'll go back to Ben just to confirm. Because <laughs> I can, because we can talk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do it. All right, fantastic. Thank you. Ah, good guy, Ed. Well done. I bet he waited until I poisoned my own minion and was like, these guys are screwed. Let's just do them a favor. <laughs> oh, I might bluff King, you know. No, I could just come out as Choir Boy.
Hello, my boy. I feel like if I feel like if I if I'm too bombastic, I'm just gonna get murked. If Cat bluffs Quiet Boy on day one, and then on day two someone comes out and says that they're her evil twin, that's gonna be that's gonna look super suspicious. Really hope she is the. I say we just bluff as snitch. See how far we can get with that. Butler, yeah. Go all the way through on a butler bluff. Good bluff, poppy grower. Yeah. Wait, I mean, this is the interesting thing about this. I know there's no snitch. I know there's no popper girl. I know there's no fire boy. So I've actually, we've actually got like three bluffs straight away. I think it's highly unlikely that there's a king as well. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to take poppy girl. Really need to get that chat with Cat nice and early. Inquire boy. Yeah, we totally could, but there might be a king. This is the thing. Highly possible that. Good morning. Well, you're breaking up a bit there, Ed. Play so again. And the named character is the choir boy. But as the evil team already knows who the choir boy is, uh, they just come out. Same thing for the king. Let's just find out who the king and choir boy are right away. Yeah, make them like Batman and Robin. Let's go. <laughs> No choir boy's gonna come out. Bear in mind, there's a pucker on the script. Oh yeah, yeah. but the evil team already knows who the choir boy is. Hmm. Yeah, and poisoner. Uh, can, can I come out as choir boy, and can the real choir boy just, you know, let it slide? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I'm going to bluff. Okay, I am now not going to believe any choir boy. I am the king. King Nicholas. I said I was going to bluff it. Damn. <laughs> Nicky, can we go chat? <laughs> Uh, yeah, wait, sure. hold it. Chat, oh, let's gosh. have a chat. Spoken to yeah, you. sure. Um, okay. Growling, right. would you like a chat? Let's build up our begrudging. Yeah, is that Madeline? Hello. Hello there. Um, so. I'm the Supernovus. Oh, okay, well, listen. Uh, sorry about this, but I poisoned you last night. Uh, just in case you were the evil twin. I thought uh, <laughs> I could, like, catch you in a quick chat. Maybe you could right. blame Choir Boy. And then on day two, I've, I've someone stand up and go, Cat is my evil twin! And we, you know, we could do the whole how convenient thing, but yeah. Um, okay, so I guess not. Um, so I guess Jamie isn't mad that he's the poppy grower in that case. He's not, no. But but here's the <gasps> thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to be mad today that I'm the poppy grower. Okay, go so, for it. Are you, are you cool with that? That's fine. Um, I'm thinking of bluffing Flower Girl, um, Butler. I was thinking of King, but I'm if Nikki's doing that. Um, I mean, I could sidle into Choir Boy and just be distrusted, but we'll see. So here's the thing: I'm the Choir Boy, but I was made mad today that I was the Poppy. Girl. Okay, there we go. In that case, that's fine then. <laughs> it worked, chat. <laughs> it worked the way we wanted it to. Basically, we that's wanted to fine. make a motorbike. We threw a bunch of wheels together. It became a boat. That's how, that's how this went. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Um, so, I mean, Hazel is going to be my master today if I go with that bluff, but I'm going to see what Nadine says later on. Um, I will pass on to her if I catch up with her. That would be All fantastic. Of the above. Yeah, just tell her I'm, I'm claiming quiet boy, but I'm mad that I'm the poppy growing. Okay, cool. Good luck. Thank you. 
Any Isn't methods want to turn me, or anybody yeah. want to give me a uh, hard Nuki, claim? Nuki, would you like a chat? I'd love a chat. I'm happy All to right. do a hard claim yeah, for which like one chat. if you want to do it. Anyone want to talk? I'll talk to you. Yeah, it's a pie shop. Yeah, do you want to talk, Grolin? Yes. Uh, Thieves Guild. <clears throat> oh, Ben, hello, chat. Yeah, how's it going? You all right? Yeah, all right. Are you the Mephit? I'm not the Mephit. Uh, I'm going then you must to... be the demon. I'm, I'm neither of those, I'm afraid, as much as I would love to be. <laughs> um, I am, in fact, and please don't spread this around, uh, but I'm going to tell you, I am, in fact, the poppy grower. So, right now, the evil team do not know each other. Okay, that would be great if it's true. Yeah, it is. It is. It is one hundred percent true. Uh, but of course, you know, we can always bring that into question later down the line. But, but I am, I am at this at this moment in time, as far as I'm concerned, I am the most important person for the evil team to kill. Yep. So let's try and keep that under our hat. Eh? We'll do. Okay, that's good to know. Yourself? Good to know. I. My role starts with C. That's what I'm telling people. Okay. Well, <clears throat> in that case, then I'm gonna go ahead and put you down as clockmaker, and we'll see what. If, okay. if hypothetically you are the clockmaker, what hypothetical number did you hypothetically get? Well, see, hypothetically, if I'm the clockmaker, and you are the poppy grower, or you're a minion who knows there's a poppy grower, then me giving my number would just help. The evil team. If I'm on the evil team, I already know what the clockmaker number is. Unless there is a poppy grower that's not you. That's correct. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. That's smart. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I mean, I this was an unequitable exchange because I told you everything and you didn't give me much. But fair enough. I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll perhaps we can revisit this tomorrow or day three. Yeah. So if I still trust you tomorrow, I'll tell you exactly who I am. All right. Just make a note. Never going to learn who he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ed is listening. That means you must be the method. Tell me the word. Ed is listening. That means you must be the method. Tell me the word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tequila. Okay. I'm not saying it. I don't want. I don't want to be on. <laughs> Actually, an evil poppy grow would be amazing. Do you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'd be, oh, actually, sorry, I'd be quite method. useless as an evil poppy grow, wouldn't I? Because I'd basically just be ruining the evil team from afar. Yeah, you just have no to try idea to get who's killed. on my team, and they've got no idea who's on theirs. Oh well. Anyway, um, yeah. That's shall we go back oh. to town square? Yep. Thanks, man. Aggie, do you want to have a chat? Uh, sure. Can go and let's go. Tavern. Yep. Uh, ben, can we chat? Sure, lead the way. <clears throat> so, we're we, we um, going to try and establish some trust here so that I don't make the same mistake that I've made every time I've played with you and just assumed you're evil. Yes, uh, Clockmaker 2. Uh, I, it just basically, I've told the truth to Aggie, I've told the truth to you, and that will make me feel better about lying to everyone else. That's interesting. So, um, that's that is part of what I would call a soft double claim. Well, okay. do you know what? Screw it. Some someone has told me that they're a character that begins with a C. Uh, we're assuming there's no choir boy, so that means that they're fifty percent double claiming you. I think. Oh no, there's a courtier. Actually, do you know what? There's quite a lot of characters to begin with. I don't know why I just assumed they were a clockmaker. Honestly. True. I, I I'm I'm going around saying I've courtiered the method because I just love the idea of making good. Ske uh, sketchy about whether or not to trust the method. Right. And I'm actually going to speak to Chris and just try and get him to believe I'm the method because unless it's a terrible idea, I'm going to have fun for a day, then come out and tell him the truth. Fair and if it, gets, if it gets me killed, no big issue because I'm just a clockmaker. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I'll, uh, so I I am. Oh, God. Do you know what? We've kind of, I've kind of got a trust. So we need to build this bridge, don't we, Richie? As, we do. As, we as do. like, as unintuitive as it feels we need to build this bridge i'm going to tell you something you need to keep this under your hat 
I am the pop. Is around the clock? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like now. Good mind. Leaving just as I drag people home. Um, just for the be benefit of those people that weren't in the first game, the way I'm running my games on stream for a bit, because I'm interested to see how it does affect um, crosstalk and online issues, is uh, I will drag everyone home. Nominations will not be open for two more minutes. Um, so you have time to have chat publicly. Once nominations are open, I will not be accepting pertinent info. It is accusation, defense, vote. Um, that is all that will happen once someone is nominated. Uh, with that in mind, two things. One is someone was asking interesting rules questions during the night, but I was busy. So please ping them to me because they've vanished out of chat. And uh, nominations are not open. You can chat. All right. Oh, hey, so town. No, 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 no gossips, no gossips. Town came up with an agreement for those of us who were left behind in town at the very start of the day that it would be a good idea to have no gossips day one and then have an execution so that we can find out whether a Zambul is in play. Oh, I was just going to make a well, movie. Well, that's not... Of course, that that's requires not collective gossip. agreement, but... That's I'm going to gossip that I'm not the gossip. <laughs> well, so much for that idea. Would it not but anyone who does gossip with this out there is going to be sus to everyone else. Uh, do you I want don't the think the gossip is going to be happy if somebody, if other people are telling them how to play their role. Yeah, like uh, the only thing I could suggest is, is it the idea not to get a gossip kill? Not to get a gossip kill on day one, but have an execution so that day two, if there's no deaths, we can determine possibly whether or not a zombie is in play. But of course, there's an <laughs> innkeeper, so that might also be the cause. It was just an idea that those of us left behind came up with. I well, gossip that Hazel is a demon. <laughs> well, we'll learn more from a gossip day than from yeah. checking the zombo. Yeah. I was just joking, but I keep my gossip statements. It would be funny if Hazel was the gossip after all this. Oh, yeah. uh, I I got I gossip that Chris is the method and he tried to get me the tried to get me to the words. It's a chocolate word, but it's not chocolate. And I chocolate <laughs> words. We even speak. Huh? <laughs> what a what sentence. Talking about? Can, oh, can I can I add to this gossip idea by the way? Yeah. Uh, if you surely if you gossip uh, about one of the other two demons being in play, then uh, if it is a zomball, then you're not gonna make a kill anyway. And if it's not a zomball, then you're potentially gonna hit two kills. Pretty well, then every fake gossip would have to gossip the same thing. I therefore gossip that Ben Burns is right. Oh, no. oh, well. <laughs> oh, if you're paying everything. <laughs> um, Hazel, you're echoing a lot. I turned everything off. I don't know why. Okay. Sorry. Okay, nominations are open. Does anyone have a sauce? Um. I mean, I've had quite a few people asking me if I'm method and can I have the method word, and I was... <laughs> I've, I've had chats like that. Yeah, I'm disappointed <laughs> nobody approached me as a method today. I got approached by someone as a method. Kind of. Kind of. Um, okay. It's difficult then... being British and playing in a game that has a method, because the line between truth and banter is ever-shifting in these shrouded <laughs> aisles. Alright, <laughs> Madeline dominates Ben. Uh, Madeline nominates Ben. Tell us why. If he turns, well, he only has one vote left. <laughs> uh, ben, your defense? Uh, I refuse to say the method word to that person. And also, this is a terrible, terrible kill. Okay. Uh, six votes required. Right. We should get a few on here, just in case Flower Girl. We don't necessarily have to go through it. Yeah, I would like to see a few more. I suspect that if Ben tried to turn, he wouldn't have announced that. You don't? <laughs> Maybe. Four is not enough. Ben is safe for today. Any other nominations? He nominates Madeline. Was that Richie? Yes, please. Okay. Tell us why. Um. So I was pretending I was the method to say that C word, which Madeline actually managed to say in chat. I'm not sure if Storyteller picked up, but I'm just having fun. I'm not actually the method. Um, the fact that Madeline's willing to nominate randomly, I just try and 
I tend to go for the first person to nominate. Uh, I suspect more being evil than good. Okay. Uh, Madeline, your defense? Um, I'm actually just joking around. As usual, I would be a terrible execution today. Um, yes. That's Six my defense. So that is Ben, Wildstar, Nikki of the New Votes, and Richie. Exactly Six is enough. Madeline is on the block. Final call for nominations with 10 seconds. I would prefer someone nominate someone else. Well, I'm afraid that your request is rejected, Madeline. You are executed and die. Everyone goes to sleep. This is going well. So for those of you who are late to the party, uh, we are... Hello, Ed. We are the Poisoner. Last night, on which was night one, we poisoned Cat our other minion uh, I should probably actually take my uh, didn't I? Uh, on the off chance that she was the evil twin and we could screw with people it didn't work, she's actually the Serenovus so uh, I am going to claim that I was made mad that I was the poppy girl yesterday and then tell everyone today that I'm in fact the choir boy who has been storm caught but we know we have no choir boy hello Ed I would like to poison Nikki please You'd like to poison Nikki. Okay. Thank you. Is Right. I'm going to go for a bathroom break now, guys, because I drank too much coffee before this stream. There is not going to be a roll release today, guys. Uh, I was I was ill last week because I had my jab, and so we're uh, we we postponed everything for a week. There will be a release next week, though. Um, I am. Thank you. I am feeling much better. It was. I mean, it's a. It's a good. It's a good sick, right? Because it means. It means I'm now inoculated or whatever.
yeah. I'm gonna mix it up. Too young for the jab. Is that a thing? I didn't realize that. I didn't realize there was an age limit. The jab. Here's how ignorant I am. Will the gangster game be uploaded to YouTube? Why po oh yeah, that's a good point. Thanks for reminding me. I totally forgot. Do you know what? I'm gonna put that in my calendar. Good morning, town. Strange sense of deja vu. You've noticed that no one's died in the night. Wow. Oh, um, hell yeah, was I Before everyone it? runs away, I would like to make an announcement and none of you are gonna like it. Uh, yesterday I was made mad that I was the poppy grower. I told two people that I was the poppy grower. Uh, and then accidentally was still saying it to Richie when we got dragged back. Uh, I'm not the poppy grower. I was made mad. I am in fact the choir boy. Oh. Well, you're right. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I knew you wouldn't. <laughs> it is what it is. Look, you know. Take it. I, I will. I would totally accept everyone's skepticism on that, but um, as as far as I'm aware, no one's come out as king, right? I came out um, as king. Oh, sorry. Came yeah. as king. Why did you think? Oh, yeah, of course you did. Yeah. Conversations yesterday, people were like, "What are you?" I was like, yeah, "I'm sorry. sorry, came out as king." It it is unsurprisingly much more difficult to play Blood on the Clock Tower whilst you're live streaming. So you'll have to you'll have to forgive me for my occasional uh, senior <laughs> moments. <laughs> it probably would help if I made notes on the grimoire, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Please. Any other public announcements? Is, is chat not harassing you to uh, put notes down? Per they do, yeah. Pertinent um, info, um, yeah, I was just memeing yesterday. I'm as bad at filling in the grimoire as I am at streaming. I can't hear you. Oh. I was just memeing yesterday, nothing happened. Okay. Uh, um, I'd like to chat if you're up for a chat, chat Yeah, meet me in the tavern. Can I chat? I, I talk to Wildstar, please. Yeah, Chris. Ben B, um, can I talk to you, please? Yeah, lead the way. Anyone uh, want to talk? Hey. Hello. How you doing, alright? Yeah, not bad. Yourself? Yeah, cool. Um, uh, I just wanted to a hard claim to someone. I just thought it was interesting that you, um, from what you said yesterday, I am actually the poppy grower, so... Um, I didn't know that you were claiming that yesterday, otherwise I probably would have ah, <laughs> pushed harder on your nomination. So. Fascinating. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you uh, glad you said that. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't have to claim to you yesterday. Of course, I can't help but wonder that if perhaps uh, you uh, you are the new person who's been made mad that they're the poppy grower, and you're claiming this to me wholeheartedly. You know what, I'm not actually going to go down this I, line of inquiry well, with you. Well, no, fair, that's, that's fair. <laughs> uh, what, what I was going to uh, ask, I, I don't know really how you would run it, but like, if you'd been made mad as being the choir boy today and that, if that, you know, if you that said... The case, the, if that were the case, then I would likely um, say that yesterday I was mad that I was the poppy grower hmm. so that people at least know there is a Saranovus in play. And whoever was not made, whoever was actually made mad yesterday, could come out and say that they were made mad yesterday. So I get all the info out, but I still staunch. But that's not what's happening at all. I genuinely was made mad yesterday. I genuinely am the choir boy. Okay, cool. All right. Well, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully that we'll, <laughs> we'll find out who's been mad today. Depending on, so if someone has hypothetically been made mad today. Depending mm. on what they are, if they're a thing that they don't think is going to... For example, like they're a clockmaker or they're an outsider of some kind, uh, it might be worth that particular person considering just breaking madness to, to mm. clear both myself and them. But obviously, I don't know who that person is. But if you meet that person, uh, it might be worth considering. Yeah, I will consider that then, Ben. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. That was a pretty good chat, right? Wasn't it? I feel like that was a pretty good conversation. I feel like we did we did a multitude of things there. <laughs> ben, should we have a chat? Yeah, lead the way. Hey, Nadine. Hey, do you want to chat? Yeah. Yo. Hello, my choir boy. Hello. So I trust you implicitly. 
because I Good. know for a fact that you're in the game. I don't trust you implicitly, but it's, well, it's, it's good you, enough. You'd be mental <laughs> if you did. So, what do you know? What do I know? Yeah, about other players. Um, Grolin has claimed that he's a character that begins with C. Oh my god, why Why do people give such weird... I mean, to be fair, it's, it's as it happens, uh, it's basically a, a claim of two. If Richie okay. is to be believed, Richie has told me he's the clockmaker. Fair enough. Uh, so I'm the choir boy, so that means Grolin's either the chambermaid or the courtier, right? Yes. Or, or um, no, that's it. That's literally it. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything from Hazel, Chris, Jamie, or Kat? I literally have, of those people, the only one that I've spoken to is Kat, and she wouldn't give me anything. She wouldn't give me anything either. Yeah, she's, well, it's Kat. Which, <laughs> yeah, but a lot of the time we we do hard claims to each other, and I don't know, she seemed very reluctant. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, like, I'm always suspicious of Kat. Do you want to chat? Okay. Sure, Richie. Uh, I didn't care, so you have to tell me tomorrow, Hazel. Roland, we have that in common. Okay, okay, great, thank you. Okay, so we have two minutes of chatting before we nominate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have a very strong nomination I would like to make today. I Indeed. endorse I like... Hazel's nomination. Wow. How strong? I would, I would like endorse. to gossip that the demon is a zomble. I would like to gossip that the demon is a zomble. I would like to gossip that the demon is a zomble. Me too, gossip demon is a zomble. Sure, let's get on the hype train. As the choir boy, I would like to gossip that the demon is a zomble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to gossip, like to gossip that Ben Bird is telling the truth. I would like to gossip as a dead person that it's a zomble. <laughs> Hazel, like what is your... Uh... Um, I have heard tell that there's a player who is in a double claim and is also seamstress checked is not the same alignment as someone who is verified by a chambermaid and dreamer. Ooh. So Ooh. I would Whoa. like to nominate Kat for those three reasons. Um, can I ask who I have been chambermaid paired with? Um, because the, the dreamer probably got their other bluff. No, no, you were... Seamstress checked with someone who is verified by both a chambermaid and a dreamer, and you are not the same alignment as that person, by, according to the seamstress. Um, I'm Nikki. Can you close your window, please? Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I am happy to believe that I am not the same alignment. You can kill me if you want to, but I think this is—you're getting the wrong person in there. Hazel, are you comfortable Wait. telling us who this other person is that is not the same alignment as that? This is an innkeeper script, and a poisoner script, and a pucker script. There's a lot of This is a script and... around the acrobat, so there could be misinformation. It is entirely true, but there's also the fact that you're in a double claim. Who am I double claiming with? Madeline. I'm not in a double claim with Madeline. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, sure. I don't even know what Madeline is, but I am not double claiming her. <laughs> <laughs> because I have lied to everyone. Oh. So, you, so you could be double claiming it. People die in this game, but sure. No, you're, not, you're not, you're not going to believe my information, even if you um, don't kill me today. So. I mean, Ben, I was going to do that thing, but now I want to kill Cat. <laughs> Nominations are open. I nominate myself. Cat nominates Cat. Cat, tell us why. Um, this is a bad kill, but people aren't going to trust me, so get me off the table. Okay. Six required. I'll take it to six, but otherwise I won't vote. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see Cat make it uh, six, I'll honestly. Make it six. Oh, sorry, too late. Right. Well, I would have done, but... Six is enough. Cat is currently on the block. Any other nominations? Jamie, I still think it might be an idea, boys. Uh, Madeline. Madeline. Sorry, who nominates huh? Madeline? 
Hazel nominates Madeline. Hazel nominates Madeline. Tell us why. Would the town rather double tap Madeline or kill Cat? Just throwing that option out there. Madeline, your defense. Uh, you can, uh, if you want. Um, would mean that a kill is likely to go through, um, unless there's innkeeper. But if this is what you want, no, okay. You but you got six already. Six uh, for it's worth, I'll make sure it doesn't die. Town, you should kill me because I'm not going to die at night now. So you should kill me. There is You're the very boy, reason confirmed. to double tap this early. <laughs> Another reason why I did this cat was to watch your voting because Butler was one of the three that you gave me. So I just kind of wanted to watch Butler. what you do. I'm not the uh, Cat still on the block. Any other nominations? I'm the Raven Keeper. I'm trying to get killed at night, which is why I was heavily signalling Flower Girl. But I'm not going to die at night now, so kill me. Hey, I'm on board. With my own accusation. Speaking of, uh, Cat is executed and dies, and everyone goes to sleep. <laughs> That was. Oh, that's that's harsh. But I feel like we got a lot of bang for our buck. Yeah, honestly. <clears throat> I did a really dumb thing yesterday and poisoned Nikki, even though I apparently already knew. <laughs> hey uh, <then. clears> there. <throat> right. I think Hazel is the gossip. I think her gossip. Uh, that I'm telling the truth is gonna gone and no ill. But that's just a hunch. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and I think, I believe Chris that is the clockmaker. Uh, sorry, I believe Richie that is the clockmaker. I think roll it, uh, I don't know, he's, he's in I'm gonna get, I'm gonna poison Chris. Poison Chris? Okay. Yeah, thank you. I feel like I'm goofing it here, poisons guys. Yeah, I'm definitely going to act mad tomorrow. <clears throat> but what about, though? <clears throat> oh, I should be mad that I'm the Raven Keeper. Mad that I'm the Raven Keeper and oh, maybe not. Clockmaker? Yeah. It's <clears throat> a good point actually, we don't want to be breaking it back. I think we're best off just throwing Cat under the bus, honestly. That's true, actually, yeah. Yeah, we've got to be mad tomorrow, haven't we? <clears throat> Can we go back to Poppy Grower? We go back to Poppy Grower. Sorry, I've just been sat here silently thinking about it. We go back to Poppy Grower tomorrow. <clears throat> Going count under the bus is not a good choice, simply because the clockmaker will figure it out from that. Clockmaker got a two. We don't want that. I'm glad you like the soundtrack. I've, I, I've painstakingly put together many, many hours of, uh, of kind of chill cyberpunk retro wave, synthwave type stuff. 
Good morning, town. Again, no one has died. Every time I silence after I said... <laughs> um, ben, can we chat? Are there any other Serenovas, uh, mate? you ask me to talk yesterday? Hello. Hello. Uh, so what is it that you wanted to say? Because I, I basically, when you said, and I'm going to tell you, it's literally you got dragged back in and I had nothing else. Oh, so I, I, I literally said I'm the poppy grower uh, and I genuinely thought that when I got dragged back in, everyone in town had heard it. No, I don't. I don't think so. Like, I didn't. Maybe it's because yeah. I was already well, dragged, be being fair, dragged there's back. Pro there's probably a few seconds between like get like hearing the noise and actually connecting to chat. Yeah. So it's probably there's probably an a, a, an inadvertent cheeky little grace period there. But curiously, why would you if you've been Saranovis, why would you <laughs> Are you saying you were Saranovis into Choir Boy? So yesterday I was tell I told you I told everyone in town that on day one I was made mad that I was the poppy grower, but I was in fact the choir boy. Right. So you were soft claiming poppy grower to everyone, but why bother doing that? Why not just pick any other role if you've actually been made bad but that you're the choir boy? So, Richie, what I was saying yesterday is that on day on night one, I was made mad that I was the poppy grower, and that I but that I was in fact actually the choir boy. That's what I was saying on day two. Do you understand? Not quite. Right, like, listen. I'm going to take you through the chronology of this, Nikki. <laughs> and why I call you Nikki? Richie. <laughs> Night one, I am woken up and told, you have been made mad by the Serenovus that you are the poppy grower. Got it. I was actually the choir boy. But I've been made mad that I was the poppy grower. I was not made mad again on night two. Therefore, I then came out when we woke up that morning and uh, on day two and said, yesterday I was mad that I was the poppy grower, but I am in fact really the choir boy. Does that make sense? Yes, I get it. And you're, as the choir boy, safe from execution. What? What? So, right, is... now now that you understand that, I'm going yeah. to tell, I'm going to add another layer to this. All right. In actuality, I was mad yesterday that I was the choir boy. Okay, it's making And I sense. was trying to tell everyone that there is a Serenobus in play by claiming that I was mad the previous day. But I am really the poppy grower. Okay, I, I wasn't sure which way around you were playing because you could go either way. My point is, if you're either one or the other, whichever one you are, I would expect that to be hidden because it's if you get poisoned, your role becomes less valuable. That, that's why I was confused. So whichever of those two powerful roles you actually were, whichever way round, wh whichever day you were Serenovist, um, I would have thought you would have hidden your true role. Well, yeah, I was tr I was trying to just tell you that I was the puppy grower and not tell right. anyone else. Okay, but okay. I thought I'd been dragged into town and so and that provided a, a nice cheeky little cover for me to claim that I was actually made mad. But okay, the thing is, fair. right now, evil aren't going to kill me because they've made me mad. And and I look like an absolute nut job, and I look like I look evil. So maybe we should execute me. But if you, we do, if we do execute me, evil will get their bluffs back. True. I don't think you look evil at all. Um, maybe it's guilty conscience. But like, yeah, you're not looking evil at all. And also, have you been made mad again? I'm categorically telling you that I am <laughs> the poppy grower, and that yesterday I was made mad that I was the okay. choir boy. Okay. Um, I think I follow you. Uh, I won't push either which way. Uh, and yeah. You are, um, of course, free to express your ridiculous opinion with other people. I, I won't. I just wish I was the method because I out and out got Madeline to say the word caramel. Uh, <laughs> well, you got this just training it for when you are the method. <laughs> well, well, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been glorious. But yeah. All right. I'll head back. All right. What? Ben, next one up. <laughs> ben! Hey, Ben! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, it's not sorry. <laughs> I did uh, it. I did the thing where Richie, I went into Backstab Are you sticking Alley. with the claim which you gave me at the very start of the game? Uh, probably not, no. Nikki, can we chat? Yes, let's. Hey, uh, so I need, I need to inform you, it's very important that you know, 
Uh, I actually was made mad yesterday that I was the choir boy. I am not the choir boy. I really am the poppy grower. Okay. It's important that you know this. Cool. Uh, because I don't want you to be operating under, you know, false pretense. Fair enough. Um, do you know... Uh, did Richie just claim hard claim to you? Richie hard claimed to me on day one. Okay, he also hard claimed to me on day one. Um, as courtier. Okay. Uh, but Groland's also just hard claimed courtier to me. Yeah, I, I, I don't think Nikki is the courtier. I'm not the courtier. Sorry, Richie. Why do I keep calling him Nikki? I've done that twice now. I called him Nikki to his face earlier on. <laughs> when this goes oh. up on YouTube, people yeah. don't like, <laughs> let's go and see now. That gets me every time getting dragged back in here. It, every time. It's, it's Welcome fun. to everyone else's life, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I, need to, I need to inform everyone. I've already told a couple people this. I, I was not, I am not the, um, the choir boy. I was actually made mad yesterday that I was the choir boy. <laughs> Uh, and I was trying to in inform everyone that there was a, a Serenovus in play. I am, in fact, the poppy grower. There's a, okay, so Interesting. Mm. So is anyone else claiming Serenovus for us? Multiple Serenovus claims now. Mm. That's fine. So who was? Um, that's fine. Okay. Who was Serenovus the first day then? I have no idea. So that would lead me to believe that Cat is not. Cat is actually good then. Yes. And we're not in the minstrel day. Can um, somebody please nominate good. Wildstar today? Or a Minstrel's Evil. Who is there? Uh, actually... Someone will um, nominate Wildstar. Hazel nom... Uh, I'm going to give you another minute to I actually talk, and then... Sorry, and then on a I, I would be willing to do that, Kat. I've... Okay. I've been told um, there is something I may be able to do tonight that can sort of confirm me. Um, so if y'all are willing to wait a day, that would be really cool. Uh... Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I've now got a double. Cl I mean, this could be who the Serenovus has hit today, but uh, I've now got a double claim um, that I potentially want to go after. Is it Poppy Grower? No, it's not Poppy Grower. It's a Courtier. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Nikki, I, I think I already talked to you when it was a town of like three or four of us that no, I did in fact lie to you, which was pretty clear. Unless okay. there's a triple claim that's now a double claim. Yeah, which now yes, uh, now nominations are open. There is not a double claim, although still the second courtier claim. They were really cagey about it. I don't know if I trust it. I feel like I was the first. So yeah, sure, let's go. For the... <laughs> um, Nikki's gonna nominate Grolin. Nikki nominates Grolin. Tell us why. Um, in any case, I don't think their courtier has been useful if they are a courtier. Um. But they were just super, super cagey about it. I don't know whether I trust it. Grolin, your defense. Yep. Uh, well, actually, my defense is just just wait a day. Um, I used my ability first night. I really got a kick out of Aggie's play a few weeks ago. And so I chose the evil twin. So we'll see if they turn up tomorrow. Thanks, Grolin. Okay. Uh, five nope. required. <laughs> I'm not in my seat. I intend to vote. I'm not in my seat. I intend to vote. Hand up. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Hazel. Oh, wow. Too many. Too many. Um, it's just, I, I don't trust people who suck up to me in private talks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Five is enough. Grolin is on the block. Any uh, other nominations? So because I like Hazel's script, she throw me under the bus. Richie uh, like nominate, nominate, nominates, nominates Hazel. Okay. Richie, tell us why. Uh, Hazel, tomorrow, just as a bit of a... Can I suck up to you and let's see how this goes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hazel, your defense. <laughs> what? Um, If town wants to execute me, they may. Five to tie, six to execute. Just trying to follow the no talkie rule. So I just wanted to get that out of there. Uh, a witch script, a witch in the script with the new storyteller heads rule. I quite like. Which script is that? Hazel will nominate Wildstar. Hazel nominates Wildstar. 
and Ben, I appreciate the puns <laughs> getting getting down on my level. Um, <laughs> Hazel, tell us why. Uh, I promised a dead player who can't nominate that I would. Wildstar is the person that was reportedly seamstress checked against Cat. Um, and I did not actually hear from the seamstress firsthand. That information came to me from Wildstar herself. Okay, Wildstar, your defense. Um, according to Hazel, I'm also a dreamer confirmed. I've heard no word of this. I don't actually know if it's true. Uh, but I think I can potentially at least partially confirm myself tonight, so please wait a night, and if I, that doesn't work, kill me tomorrow. Why you feel the need to confirm yourself if you're confirmed by a chambermaid and a dreamer in the interest already? Ooh. Uh, because uh, you're so not. So you guys vote cat. I've this is this is a bad X. I've just had a realization of something. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Uh, I believe that Madden and, and I Jamie have are both no people. idea if I'm actually dreamer confirmed. But... What? Roland what? is currently on the block. Ten seconds for the nominations. I explain more tomorrow. Now I think Nikki's. Oh, God. Oh, what? But I've, I've had a realization of something. I I think that we had a minstrel night on night two. Roland is executed oh, and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. <clears throat> I think I think that Grolin is a good choice to make them seem as though they're the Serenovas. Hey Ben. So I'm going to stop lying now. Hello. Um, I am going to poison Wildstar. Just You're going to poison hopefully Wildstar. Hopefully that okay. wasn't a bait from her. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. So I actually have no idea who our demon is. <laughs> I mean, I know that it's Nadine, but I don't know which character it is. So, uh, for those of you who have only just joined us, uh, we are claiming to be the Choir Boy, which is the character that has been storm caught by the Stormcatcher. There is no Choir Boy in play, uh, but we are claiming that we were made mad on nights one and three. This is night four. Uh, we're going to stop claiming that we've made, made, been made mad now to simulate Grolin being the Serenovus. That is where we're at. Dean is our demon. We don't know what she is. Yeah, we got kind of lucky with the setup of this game. Like, we knew for a fact there was no snitch, because we, I didn't get. We knew for a fact there was no popper grower, because I got told who my fellow demons and mythics are. And we know for a fact that there is no choir boy, because we were told that by a stormcatcher. So I basically got given three bluffs. Actually, Nikki said night two, which which means our day one execution. So he thinks that Madeline is the is the minion. With regards to his claim that, um, that we had uh, a minstrel night on night two. So that's just uh, that's just yeah. <laughs> Everything's going well, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Good morning, town. Aggie died tonight. Right, you're not gonna like this. 
<laughs> God, I have no control over this. Well, I have control now. Um, so, I was made mad on night one that I was the poppy grower, and I was made mad on night three that I was the poppy grower. On day two, when I told you I'm actually the storm catcher and I'd been made mad the previous night, that was the truth. And it's still the truth now. I actually am the storm catcher. I've now been made mad twice, nights one and three. So on night two, somebody should have been made mad on that night. I don't know who that was already. Yeah, you know, someone's claimed to have been. Really? Yep. That's fantastic. Yeah, that okay. So well, someone. The problem is, is no, no, okay, okay, so just not a character token that you can pull from the bag. Hey, but... Here is my theory. Yeah. Here I... is my theory. L okay. Let's hear Nikki's theory. Now. I'm thinking to myself, okay, you've got Ben, who is the, um, who's the choir boy, who's the storm catcher person, uh, and, you know, you kind of want to stop them from being able to have their choir boyness, and you, know, you want to get them executed, so you should make them mad. Why wouldn't you make them mad every single day, though? They have a double madness claim. Unless, unless Madeline was evil minstrel proct evils then realized that there needs to be a serenovus act otherwise minstrels propped and therefore jamie claimed to have been serenovus i mean i am the acrobat so just execute me it's not a problem problem is though nikki in that world um, view, i think one was I, I after yesterday. that in that world view i lied yesterday about being mad that i was the poppy grower because madeline no was already dead. No, he means it was a mystery. No, 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 Every day, and just. I mean, I mean yeah. it's possible. Mad then was evil, by the way. Not making me making me mad some days and not every day means that I may well be in a position where people don't believe me. I'm forced to break madness. Mm. So I don't. Yeah. Also, I, mean, I don't disagree with what you said, but I think it's not quite as. It's. I, I would say it's a. It's certainly an outside chance. Here, here's another thing, though. Um, did anybody gossip yesterday? No, no we, 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 we are now, we is now confirmed not Zombor. No, we know it's not exactly. Zombor. Exactly. No. So why why would why would the demon twice sink a kill then? Simulate Zombor. Minstrel innkeeper. Make it look like a Zombor. Uh, uh, I've heard of both minstrel and innkeeper, so yes, it could so, be a combination. Uh, ben, can we chat? Yeah, lead the way. Speaking of, Wildstar! Yo. Hello, right. I think I'm on board with the, the, the chain of logic. But can I yeah, ask? It's, it's uh, you mentioned Today's day someone four. did this. God. Today's day four, I was mad days one and three. Day two, I was not mad. Cool. Um, who's this person who gave you a C claim? That was Grolin. Ah, what, do you think he was actually the Serenovus? <laughs> was yeah, like, I'm gonna be clever be. here. <laughs> could be, um, but I don't know because so I presumably um, you're I, still claiming Clockmaker then. Clockmaker two, yes. Yeah, uh, the reason Madeline. why I nominated Madeline is because she wouldn't have nominated her demon, but like, yeah. So I thought Madeline was a, a good shout. Yeah, well, she went for you. Therefore, you and her are not on the same team. If it is a Clockmaker two world. But it was loose logic. Yeah. I mean, if, if Grolin... So if Madeline is... If Madeline was the minion, then it's entirely possible that Hazel is the demon based on your info. Wait, just let me count to two. Yeah, okay. Fine. Uh, it's obviously not Cat, because she's dead. And I don't think there's any demon escape in this script. No. Nope. So, I mean... It's got to be Hazel next, really, I think. Clear that uh, off. Yeah, sure. Um, do you know what Wildstar is trying to test? I have absolutely no idea. My grimoire is... Uh, I've, I've put Hazel down as the gossip, but maybe she isn't. 
uh, because she's not gossiped. So let's just get... Uh, well, we'll leave it there for now. I've got Grolin as the courtier. Um, but that's probably a lie. I've got Nikki as the king. I've got you as the clockmaker. I've got Jamie as the acrobat. That's literally everything. Aggie's the sweetheart. Aggie's the sweetheart. Okay. So one of us is getting bum info then. Oh, I bet it's me. Yeah. I bet, oh, I bet it's me. I hope you, but I hope you're not evil. But yes, sweetheart Aggie. Uh, we we roll swap, so she might be claiming. No, we roll swap whilst. No, I told Aggie the truth, so we roll swap. She might be claiming clockmaker. Um, I roll swap with Nadine, but that's when I was lying to her about being courtier. Do you know what Nadine is then? No, maybe I didn't speak to Nadine. But I haven't got it written down. Yeah, uh, let me. I'm gonna speak to people. Find yeah, out yeah that's a good idea. Uh, hey, Nadine, ben, I haven't had a talk? chat with you yet. Do you want to talk? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Well, Nadine, happy, Nadine, can we chat? I, I put out some yeah. hints. Did you get them? Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you. Okay, so it's possible that you are turned evil via Mephit. Or you are the Mephit, or you are the courtier poisoned evil twin. It yeah. doesn't matter. I am going to give you everything because. If you're Mephit Evil, then oh well, but I need to get all of this out there. Okay, um, so okay. I am the chambermaid, and I have picked you. Okay. So I know you did not wake up on night three. Okay. Okay, night one, I picked Jamie and Madeline. Um, Jamie told me, I talked to Jamie. I said that I was either the chambermaid, the dreamer, or the seamstress, and I had picked him. And Jamie's like, if you're the chambermaid, I don't wake up. If you're the dreamer, you already know what I am. And I was just like, well... I know you don't wake up because you just told me you don't wake up, but you got to give me more than that. So he just hard claimed acrobat. Madeline, I didn't get a hold of until after she died. Day two, I got a hold of her and she hard claimed Flower Girl, okay. um, which was one of Cat's claims. Cat also claimed Butler and Chambermaid, but backed out of it. So hence, I was thinking hard double claim. Um, night two, I did pick Cat against Wildstar and got a two. So Cat can't be the Raven Keeper because, according to the Chambermaid information, she woke up on night. Jamie. Hello. Oh, are, are you still claiming acrobat? It's yep. just not meant to be. Hey, I got. <laughs> How much is that public? Ben, Nothing. I got. I got a roll mixed up because I'm silly. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So you know what? F it. I'm just gonna go public now because. I don't know how much of my conversation ends up being public anyway. Um, hey everybody, I am your chambermaid. Oh. Oh. Hello. Cool. Um. I'm like, where the hell am I? Why is Hazel not on the list? Because I'm still waiting for Ben. All right. So night <laughs> one, I picked um, Madeline and Jamie and got a zero. Um, Jamie claimed mm -hmm. acrobat. Madeline. Gave me a hard claim on day two when I caught up with her for, of a role that does wake up but does not wake up day one. Um, Kat also gave me that in her three and backed out of her other claims, which were butler and chambermaid, because I'm the chambermaid. Um, so night two, I picked Wildstar and Kat and got that they both woke up, which was consistent with their claims. And... Wildstar hard claim to me, just said I want to hard claim to someone. I hard claim to her. I find it sus that Wildstar has not been asking me for my chambermaid info despite my attempts to talk with her. Like, if she's really what she claims, then why is she not looking for my info? Um, so that plus Cat saying, yeah. But anyway, you so Wildstar and Cat both night. woke up on night two. But if Cat's no. claiming Ravenkeeper, I would not have gotten a truthful two. Um, so my information is potentially sus, but at that night, Wildstar promised that she wouldn't make me drunk and that she would leave me alone. Um, night three, I picked Ben, the choir boy poppy grower, against Jamie, the acrobat claim, and I got a zero, which is again consistent. And then last night, I picked Nikki against Nadine and got a one. Can I ask a rules question of Ed, which is kind of relevant to this? Yes, darling. Ed, my dear, my dear Edward, uh, is... If, if we have a drunk or poisoned Serenovus, would you potentially still wake up the Serenovus' target and tell them that they have been made mad? No. Okay. <clears throat> Just So, I was told that I was made mad on nights one and three. I don't know how that lines up with uh, potential poisoning and drunkenness for Hazel's info or anyone else's for that matter. But 
I I know for a fact that there was definitely no courtier poisoning on either of those nights. Okay, but can we explain why open. I have Cat waking up when she's claiming Raven Keeper? And nope. the innkeeper said that they've left me alone. I Have I been poisoned that. or is cat lying? Not explain that. I mean, I given the, given that the I believe that the innkeeper is the person I was semstress checked against, I think the simplest explanation is they're evil. Or that was Dimitri, because that's night two. That's that's the night where Ben wasn't woken up. Minstrel, yeah. 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 Or that was yeah. Uh, or that Nikki was the minstrel night. Yeah. Madeline was killed. No. Um, yeah. Cat was killed on day, day two. Which Madeline was night three. Day one. But as Hazel's yeah. saying Madeline didn't wake on night one, but all four minions do. So Hazel's info kind of clears Madeline from being a minion, which rules out the minstrel night. Hazel, how do you feel uh, about Mephi being doesn't wake on night one. Oh, wait, yes, it does. They learn their yeah, words. I'll take it. I have four Hazel. nights worth of information, I'll, so yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll nominate Hazel. Um, I, we don't have to go through with this, uh, but obviously um, oh. it's, it's, it's worth noting that we have a clockmaker too, and Hazel is two away from Madeline. So killing Hazel will hopefully give us insight into both Hazel and Madeline. Uh, but I'm only, I'll only vote for it if Hazel says she's cool with it. Hazel, your defense. Um, I am cool with it, and I will vote for it myself because I'd rather be killed by town than than left alive by the demon after claiming Chambermaid publicly. Okay, four votes required. And, you know, four nights is a good chunk of information that we can parse. That can be publicly out there, so I'm cool with this. Yay, good team, let's go. Oh, come on. It's also okay. Just because Jamie's voting on it and... <laughs> mm. I oh, was going to nominate Jamie three, anyway. Richie three is not enough. Richie nominates can we? Nikki. Richie nominates Nikki. <laughs> Richie, tell us why. Just so I can tell Nikki off. Like, Nikki, you're a bad king. <laughs> 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 That's it. That's all I got. That's it. Storytellers distributing crowns for anyway. Um, uh, Nikki, your defense. Um, I, I'm your king. Bow down to me. I, I don't have to put up with any of your shit. Also, if you wanted to, in all seriousness, if you wanted to tell me off for uh, unvoting there, why didn't you vote? I was going to vote, I saw your hand was up, didn't want to take it over, and then you took your hand out. Didn't want to take it over, but the person who is yeah, being nominated... You left your hand has... up there and stopped me putting my hand up instead. I wanted to see if Hazel was going to vote. If you didn't yeah. want to vote... Okay, Hazel, um, nominates Hazel nominates Nadine. Oh, Hazel nominates Is there a witch Hazel? on the script? Hi, no, Nadine. sadly. <laughs> Hi Nadine, I got a one on you and the king claim last night. Does this seem truthful or false to you? Uh, based on what I am, that is false because I think I kind of trust Nikki as the king, but I reckon you've been poisoned or something, or you're evil yourself. But okay. most likely poisoned. Alright, well, uh, maybe yeah. that Wildstar's a poisoner and she's been poisoning me ever since, which means I don't clear Ben anymore. Okay, but thank you. Nadine, anything to add? Uh, I'm not a good kill. Lots of people know what I actually am. Okay. Four or five. Ben, that's the thing I got mixed up. Who did you get it mixed up with? I'll tell you tomorrow. All right. Okay. Uh, Nadine Chris nominates today. Jamie. Chris but... desperate to nominate <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to Chris. do it. I want um, to do it. So he's claiming madness on what was likely a minstrel um, night. It's also weird that Sarah Navis would bounce back and forth between Ben. Um, I think he's just kind of covering. Um, there was also a plan last night where um, I believe an innkeeper picked his two neighbours, uh, the expectation being that that would cause the acrobat to die, uh, but it didn't work. So I think he's probably just a Sarah Navis. Jamie. Uh, yep, I'm fine with it. If I'm evil, I'm evil with Hazel, So because Hazel got a zero on me and I would not get a zero if I was evil, so on night one. To the demon. Cool. Four to execute. Unless it is actually Wildstar is evil. Again, I don't need to vote because there's loads of Yeah, hands Madeline, I wouldn't yeah, vote on this. Yeah, same. I got it. <laughs> it's called I Live Dangerously. Maybe we should be voting in the past people. Are there any other outsiders in the Yeah, this is an easy lift. Six is this enough. This is a really easy lift. Yeah. Jamie is on the block. 
final call for nominations, 10 seconds. I, I, I'm i pretty sus of Can Chris somebody now, please nominate Wildstar tomorrow? Well, yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, support that too. Anyone? Five seconds? I shouldn't have known. I mean, it's not going to get beaten now. There was too many votes on me, but I am pretty suspicious of Chris. Amy just socially. is executed and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. Chris, am I the marionette? <laughs> <laughs> So I think that maybe now we need to switch our poisoning to Hazel, maybe, because I feel like she, it's only a matter of time before she get. Oh, but then again, she did tell us she was the chambermaid today. Oh, this is really difficult. Is this the first night Nikki gets info? Five. Five dead out of twelve. So it's not till. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ed, but I've got another night's worth of grace period with Nick King. Yeah, dead need to outnumber the living, not be even with the living. So unless two people die tonight. <clears throat> I think. Uh, do you know what? I don't. I don't know what Wild Star is, but I'm going to keep it on Wild Star. Okay, Wild Star it is. Thank you. So amazingly, we seem to be believed. So, people seem to believe that we're telling the truth. Now, the important thing here is that if we get to a situation where on the final day it is me, Nikki, and Nadine, then Nadine, I cannot oppose Nadine's execution based on what I've been saying. So we need to get to Nadine and tell her that she needs to kill Nikki before the final night. How I go about that. But I mean, I haven't spoken to it yet. Yeah, Nadine does know that, but she might feel as though she shouldn't kill him um, to keep my bluff up. And I, I just need to make sure she doesn't she doesn't play so cautiously that it just plays us into a corner. I'll, I'll just come up with a team. Claim I was poisoned. If if, uh, if if Nikki dies in the night, probably just say Wild Star. Well, good morning, town. Hi. So, guys, I've got an announcement. You're really no, I'm just kidding. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> died. Nobody died. Nobody died. Yeah. Um, so right, last night I checked Chris against Ben and I got a one. Oh, Chris, let's go, mm, Chris. I think Hazel's evil. Her numbers don't make sense. Oh wait a minute. If if so, Chris, can Chris can't be Zomble though, can he? Because he wouldn't have woken last night. Correct. It can't be Zomble. There was a, a death on a night where we killed. Yeah. Zumble. Yeah, literally right. no. Yeah, we can chat, Richie. Just, just, just. So are there any outsider claims other than Jamie? Uh, yes. I've heard one. I've heard one. I've heard one. Sentinel is in play, so. Um, yeah, so that means there should be at one at least. We still needed at least one now. It could be a bigger game. Chat? Was that? Jamie Ray? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Hello. Hey. I think this Hello. is the longest I've gone without chatting to my demon ever. I know. I'm like, oh, should we do it? Should we do it? We need to do it. We need to talk. So, uh -huh. what are you? So I'm the bigger mortis. I tried to kill Cat on early night, but it didn't work. Well, thanks for not killing me because that's kept my, my bluff going. Yeah, um, so I realised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me know. I thought we'd, we'd kill you later if we need it. Well, well, I mean, we'll kill you and then you can... I, I'm assuming Cat's oh. told you that I'm the poisoner. Yep. 
So the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is do not let the game get to a point where it's me, Nikki, and you left alive. Because uh, then I will have to pr show everyone that I've been lying or back Nikki that we should kill you. Yep, that is, a, that is a pickle. So kill, him, kill Nikki at the I last kill Nikki at the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, claims. I think Wildstar's innkeeper. Richie's claiming Courtier. Uh, I don't know what Chris is, but I'm guessing Minstrel by deduction. But Richie is the clockmaker. Oh, Richie. Okay, right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think... Uh, uh, what are you claiming? Sweetheart. Okay. Right, and, uh, So Aggie's not the sweetheart then. No, um, Richie, but Richie, I thought Richie, Richie was the courtier, so I'm bluffing his courtier, which isn't a thing, apparently. Right, okay, but yeah. Well, he could be. He could have just lied to me. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, so you've told me that you're the other outsider in this conversation. Shall we say that? Mm -hmm. You've just said, I'm not going to tell yeah. you what I am. All right, fine. I claimed outsider to you. Yeah, you said you're the other outsider. And I'm like, that's suspicious because that makes three. Okay. Because I still believe Aggie is the... I still right, believe yeah. Aggie's the sweetheart based on the info I have. Gotcha. Oh, wait, you wait, pointed wait. out that there's a sentinel in the game, and I'm like, that's okay, fair enough, yeah, exactly. good point. Uh, uh, <laughs> Phil, any, any suggestions? If we, uh, we, we eggs Hazel today and go for Wildstar? I think, I think, I think we, okay. yeah, you need, I think we need to, you need to kill Wildstar, because Chris is looking suspicious. Yep. And then Nikki, and we, ah, uh, okay. We'll see. Cool. Thank you. No worries. I haven't heard any poppy grower claims. Oh god. Nikki, that's, that's assuming, that's assuming someone was actually Seranovus before then. Yeah, there's not been any Seranovusing or any claims of people saying they were Seranovus yesterday since. What day was that? The last time I, think we I only was Seranovus. Three days was night, for three. night three into day four. Yeah. No. Sorry. Yeah, night into three. Day yeah. three. Night three into day three, yeah. You know what, Roll and Sarah Novus begins with a C. It does. Yeah, it does. We, we had that chat as well. I was like, <laughs> she like was it a trap? Yeah. Nadine, are you still claiming what you were earlier claiming earlier on to me? Yep. Okay, so you and Gordon are obviously. By the way, Nadine, I have picked you In as conflict. the last two nights. Uh, should I stop yeah. that? I don't think uh, we can... Nadine and I are conflict. Well, sorry. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Um, Hazel, I know you need to be dreamer. I've got claims from everyone, and I don't think there's a dreamer in play. Ooh. Yeah, who started the story for dreamer? Because I've so, not heard that either. Well, I've got... I have no idea who the dreamer is. Who started no one has was... ever told me that. Oh wait, you were confirmed so by the dreamer. Part, part dreamer of was the bullshit. Angel thought I got dreamer. confirmed by what? the dreamer. What? The yeah. dreamer was bullshit. That was me doubling down on my chambermaid information. Oh, there is Hazel! No yeah. That's, so That's not my fault. Hazel That's was not also... anyone's fault but mine. Hazel okay, was okay. also uh, pushing the It's a Zumble game. And also the leader of this gossip uh, conspiracy. I think, I believe. Prove me wrong. But... I don't remember who was behind in town. Oh, wait. <laughs> can ask, can, hey, hey, Hazel, can I ask you something? So, is the info between Cat and Wildstar literally the same? Pointing against them, that is. Um, Cat so, yes, because... and Wildstar, I got a chambermaid two on them. When I went to talk to, to Wildstar, um, she told me, she, Wildstar told me that the seamstress had checked the two of them and got that they were not the same alignment. Um, so I have not spoken to a seamstress. So basically, um, there is a seamstress check saying we're different, there is a chambermaid check which is flagging up an inconsistency, and you went all in on killing me. So that, yeah, it was basically 50-50 completely, right? There was no... Well, there I mean, was yeah. also that... At the time, uh, double, Hazel had said there was a double win the dead Madeline. Yeah, that, that also yeah, was that the I'm... other... Factor yeah, because... But that now we're we're that was two. Never mind. You're still Zumbul claiming Ravenkeeper. Yes. The thing is, though, the thing is, we've ruled out Zumbul from Aggie's death. So there's a lot of, there's now three nights of no deaths to account for without Zumbul. Um, so either we've got an innkeeper who's doing a stellar job, or it's a Poe that charged night two and night five and bumped off Aggie night four because they worked out what she was. Um, so I'm actually inclined to believe the minstrel made the Poe drunk on night three. Sorry, Cap. Nominations are open. 
Okay, I'm going to nominate Hazel again. Ben nominates Hazel. I don't know whether or not Hazel is telling the truth. I think a lot of us don't know whether or not Hazel is telling the truth. That's worse than knowing that she's lying, as far as I'm concerned. She's just going to be a nightmare, if she, and the demon isn't going to kill her, so uh, presumably you agree with this, Hazel. I do agree. I was going to nominate myself, but you beat me to it. Ooh, uh, Hazel, I'm too bad. My only defense is, if we think a Poe is charged, do we want to kill me today? I'll let you guys decide. If you're Poe. <laughs> Four cards. <laughs> oh, I'm the chambermaid! <laughs> <laughs> Can we execute Wildstar instead? Because Wildstar and Jamie are in a direct conflict. Yeah, that emphasizes. But then we just think Jamie's evil. Hey, I'll put my hand up to put me on the block so we can be decisive about what we do. Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. Four is enough. Hazel is on the block. Ten seconds Nikki's for the nomination. Nikki's gonna nominate Wildstar. Nikki nominates Wildstar. Tell us why. Uh, I've, I, part of me actually thinks that um, Hazel might actually be good um, and Wildstar is the evil player amongst all of this mess because um, yeah, Wildstar's had the seamstress check against uh, her and Kat, the chambermaid check the uh, the whole innkeeper thing with the acrobat um, there seems to be quite a few things that are pointing at Wildstar potentially being evil um, and yeah um okay. World Stars defense. I agree. All of those things point at me, except for the chambermaid. Hazel saw that I woke up, which I do. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not oh, yeah. evil by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I do not want to be alive in final three. So kill me now or tomorrow, but not at the end of the game. I 100% support this. Four to tie, five to They there, the seamstress? Is there information yeah, I'm the seamstress. I'm the seamstress. Yeah, four. And yet, why are you not voting? And that was Chris, on night two, Chris, was it? I 100% think Wildstar did. There's been, nights, okay. there's been too many nights. There's been too many nights without death yes. to See what validate the world does. Does. Don't vote, Wildstar. Don't vote. Uh, don't. Five is enough. Wildstar is currently on the block. Ten Chris seconds nominate. for any other nations. Um, oh, who's the other evil? Chris nominates Nikki. Chris nominates Nikki. <laughs> um, Wildstar is pretty close to confirm good here. Um, I think the Poe is charged and they're going to kill three tomorrow. If we lose the innkeeper, we're basically straight down to final three. Um, this just feels like a really bad kill. There's so much info against it. And I'm confused why everyone's going for this. Nikki, your defense. Do I really have to give one? Um... No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I, I'm confirmed by a choir boy. Uh, five to tie, six to execute Nikki. Brilliant. There we go. I love you. <laughs> Uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> Wildstar's still on the block. 10 seconds to nominate any nominations. I got lost in the ends then. Apologies. I don't, I don't care which team Nicky's on after that little singing thing. I want him to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wildstar is executed and dies. Congratulations. You killed Wildstar. Everyone goes to sleep. Can someone please type in chat why Wildstar was confirmed? Hey Ben. Hello. <coughs> I'm Sorry. pretty sure I heard you plan who you were poisoning and killing tonight, but I've just I've got to ask. I did not plan that. I don't think. Okay. Um, but I'm yeah. I think we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna poison Hazel because I want her information to continue to be dodgy. You poison Hazel. She doesn't get killed. I don't think the dean's gonna kill her because Hazel's looking shifty. Okay. Thank you very much. This is perfect. Even even Wildstar is saying that Chris has claimed that she's confirmed is is bogus. I can't. Oh, we are so close, guys. We are so close. 
to winning in a game where I didn't speak to my demon until day six. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. I'll tell you what, what, whatever happens at this point, I have had an absolute blast playing this game. This has been awesome. Do you prefer playing in games or running them? So I would say that I prefer I prefer doing both. And I prefer running them a little more than I prefer playing. So my ideal, and this goes for like Blood on the Clock Tower, Dungeons and Dragons, whatever, you know, whatever game it is that requires a GM, I would say that I like to run about 80% of the time and play about 20% of the time. I I get kind of bored if I play all the time because I'm I like to have the I like to view everything from atop the mountain, uh, and I, I feel like I want to I want to be there and see how everything's working. Uh, but also, I get burnt out running all the time, so I enjoy playing. And also, I think that playing a game, whether it be Blood on the Clock Tower or D and D or whatever, being a player is integral to being a good GM. You've got to play sometimes, otherwise you're not going to get better as a GM. So yeah, that was my that was my very lengthy answer to your very simple question. Sorry about that. I'm gonna have to get a drink. My throat is parched. Back. Pepsi Max. It's not we're not we're not sponsored by them or anything, but Pepsi hit me up. I'll I'll happily drink Pepsi all day if you sponsor me. Oh, thanks Ed Freeze. That's very that's very kind of you. I I love playing with no rules for. Those guys are serious characters. Like you can tell, you can see why they are in the business that they're in. Like all of them are just incredibly theatrical human beings. It's an absolute joy to run for them. So yeah, No Rules Bard, if you're watching this, feel free to sponsor us. You can split it with Pepsi. Good morning, town. The interesting moment has come. Vicky died in the night. Oh. oh, it is a very interesting moment, guys. Well, what I will mm -hmm. say is that pretty much eliminates Ho, and the minstrel was dead by that last no kill night. So I protected someone. Hooray. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you protect me? Because I'm dead. Because you killed her, Nikki. <laughs> 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 so, That's no excuse, Wildstar. Wild Star. <laughs> right, coming in, Ben. Uh, or oh, do you want to? Do you want to talk privately about Is it? Is there any point talking privately about it? It's just going to make people question my info. Right, yeah, I just well. put my chambermaid info in there last night. I chose to pick Ben and Nikki and got denied. I was not allowed to pick Ben and Nikki, so I went for Ben, the choir boy chambermaid, assuming Nikki was the one who was dead, and Chris again. And I was allowed to pick them, and I got a zero this time, as opposed to the one I got the night before. Oh, uh, what's your info, Ben? So, um, you're going to love this. Uh, I was told last night that Hazel is the demon. Uh, so okay. either Hazel's the demon and she's lying, or I'm not the choir boy and I'm lying, or what, what one, I was poisoned? Or if none of those are the case, and Hazel isn't the demon and I am the choir boy... <laughs> Then somehow both of us were drunk or poisoned, which I correct me if I'm wrong, ben. but I believe is mechanically impossible. Then um, Pucker. Oh. Uh, Pucker King Pucker, yeah. and then Choir Boy next night. How is it a Pucker with so many no deaths? Um, While Star doing some really good been, it could have been, Yeah, it could have been killing the people that we executed. The that were executed. Easily done. Mm -hmm. Right, so Ben and I are in conflict because Ben said he woke up last night and my chambermaid info says he doesn't. <clears throat> You've got to kill one of us today, basically. 
I'm, yeah. I am more than happy for us to kill me today on the understanding that if the game doesn't end, we kill Hazel. Um, Ed, what happens if the pucker picks the storm catcher's roll? Uh, they, they are poisoned, poisoned and don't, don't die. die. Correct. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm going to die today with no, with no handshake, Seriously. with no caveats. Just if, kill me today and you just, guys can kill me. Just get a refund want. for this game, guys. It's terrible. Let's kill Hazel and see what happens. Would Ben stay yeah. poisoned? No, because they... Mm, I don't know. Well, he's not. So, are you meaning? Again. Are you, you meaning? If, second time. Can we just clarify? Uh, if the Pucker has picked a Stormcourt character, um, are you asking if they stay poisoned? Because the the second bit, I'm not sure if it actually fully triggers or a triggers well, at all. So, so the rules with Pucker is that um, assuming the Pucker is sober, they their ability tries to kill at that moment in time, as if it was just an imp or whatever that had picked. Um, and if it doesn't get to kill, then they become healthy. Okay, so it's not. So it's yeah. not. It's not. No, not, it's not going to be ongoing just because someone doesn't die. Hey, who's the clockmaker with the two? You might as well come out now, dude. Do it, Nadine. Are you going to come out? What? Is I'm that what you want? Okay, fine. That's me. Yes. Wait, that doesn't. Rich. <laughs> So Are nominations it's... open yet? They can be if you want them to be. No <laughs> one's going anywhere, so... Right. I'm... Hazel would it. like to beat Ben to the punch and nominate Hazel. Okay. Um, so. Take me out now, guys. My information is inconsistent with what other people are saying. Um, ben is putting the caveat that you have to kill me if we kill him today, and I don't, I don't need that. Um, Town will kill whoever they want to kill on final three. Um, just kill me now, get it over with. I'm happy to die. Three votes required to kill Hazel. I don't think it's Hazel. I think it's yeah, Ben. This is a bit troubling. Wait, wait, the fact that Kat says that. Yikes. Um. If this is if this is a like a kind of game of chicken from Hazel, then it's backfired. Four yeah. is enough. Hazel is currently on the block. Final call for nominations. I hate, Ten to, seconds. I hate to do this. Richie nominates Ben. Richie nominates Ben. Tell us why. I trust trusted Ben. I, and he could be evil. And I don't like good players falling on the swords. It seems like, why take it to four... Um, if you're evil, if you're the demon there, like, let's try and go for the least, the, the more tricky things to go for. Hazel seems like an easy go for. At this point, we probably won't get it, but yeah. Um, ben or Chris? Okay. Or no ben, you? tell us why. Um, if, if there's enough sentiment in the town that I agree with Richie, I would much rather you kill me. I don't want to be the choir boy that dies on the final day and loses the game for good. So I'm well up for this. If we can, I would rather as muster five votes for this, honestly, than, than kill Hazel. Okay, fourth to tie, five to execute. Why is everyone so keen to die? It's ben <laughs> evil. I, I would kill ben Hazel today. I don't ben think was Ben is. Good. Ben yeah, I'd rather kill. Ben, please, let's not tie it. Ben. Let's not tie it. Nope, we are not trying to go for Ben. I'm just saying it's some ben. there. I feel like it's Ben. Ben, would oh, you have God. tied it? <laughs> One is not enough. Final call for nominations. <laughs> and no, I would not have tied it. I think we're about I to win, I... honestly. As evil? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Can't Bye. kill me now, so. Can't kill me now. Hazel such a good time. is good executed job. and dies. Hazel is not having a good time. And nor are the rest of you, because the game's not over, everyone goes to sleep. I mean, uh, I, I'm having a good time. It's <laughs> a good Is time. everyone else waiting for it to end? Seriously, Richie, you are barking up the wrong tree, man. <laughs> don't, don't trust me for a whole game and then throw it. <clears throat> hey, Ben. Do you want to make a choice? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got to be Chris at this point. There's literally no other choice. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.
guys. This one's going right down to the wire. The Dean would be mad to kill. Going into the final day with Weevil. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations! It's the final day. Chris is dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guess what? I must be proved the chamber made from that night was so fast. Okay. What? Okay. So, I trust Ben. It's Dean. I don't trust Ben. It's Ben. Or I kill myself. Okay, Ben can't have been cuckooed because someone so died. Oh, uh, yeah, I... yeah. Yeah. So the only, the only other option is that. It, so either I'm lying or we have Nadine and Richie, our demon and poisoner. Wait, is it, it, it's, uh, wait, are you saying. You make it easy for me. Are you saying basically either you've been poisoned or you're evil? That's, that is exactly what I'm saying, yes. But is that just covering for Nadine? Can we just have a roll call at this point, may I ask? I was about to say, might as well. Uh, I'm Clockmaker 2. Uh, Ravenkeeper. King. Flower Girl. Court again. Chambermaid. Wow, boy! <laughs> minstrel? What was that, sorry? That was Minstrel. <clears throat> Keeper. Beamstress. Acrobat. Sweetheart. I've been claiming courtier because Richie and I have all swapped when he claimed courtier day one. So I apologise to everyone for that. Hey, on one guys. of those, on one of those nights, you got me and Nadine, and you said that one of us woke up, didn't you? Yeah, on night four, I had that between Nikki and Nadine, one person woke up. Hmm. Can I check? Yeah. Has, <clears throat> town, has, has, my opinion... has Nadine been, Wait, Nikki, can I ask a question, please? Has oh, Nadine been claiming courtier? She has in the yes. self claim. Okay. Uh, she hard claimed courtier to me. She hard claimed sweetheart to me. Oh yeah, I told you, Nikki, that we'd, I picked Richie's courtier. Roland was the one we executed the night before I got the one on Nadine and Nikki? Is Wait, that correct? Nadine, what actually are you? Sweetheart. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Richie. The clockmaker 2 doesn't really fit with anything. No. But it, would it be Richie with Nadine though? It has the to minus be. one sentinel. It, ha it has to be. Although the sentinel can add one as well, so one, two, or three. Reverse. Yeah. Hazel, did you ever check Richie anywhere? Uh, no, I never checked Richie. Okay, so in, in my opinion, Ben doesn't read as demon to me. They could be minion maybe or poisoned those are my options i don't see ben as demon so in the world in the in the world where i'm the minion which i'm not but in that world i didn't talk to nadine until yesterday i what spoke about to world richie world on day demon, one ben? yeah the world where you're demon and nikki's maybe evil with you if i'm the demon nikki has to be evil with me yeah yeah, yeah. And Nikki's kiboshed a couple of votes now. I can't remember which votes that happened on, but yeah, you've managed to steer them away. But if anyone can remember... push it away from you, Richie. I think it's you now. Oh, did he? Nikki is the common thread oh. in my protection so uh, every time no one's we've died. We've got a Mexican standoff here, guys. This is interesting. Who, <laughs> I Who died? Me, Richie. I, so I, my, my, my worldview here is, is I, I lied to Nikki. I told the truth to Aggie and Ben, Minstre, uh, Clockmaker 2, and I got... Uh, Aggie and Nadine mixed up on who was the minstrel, um, which is why I said to Ben, yeah, I got those two the wrong way around. But anyway, um, so those are the two people I told the truth to. I lied to everyone else. I told uh, Nadine and a couple other people I courtiered the Mephit. So if there was a Mephit, the Mephit would be like, oh no, should I, shouldn't I? Because it's fun. Um, the fact that Nadine bought that courtier thing and as Sweetheart was happy to go around saying, yeah, I'm courtier, I courtiered the Mephit, uh, uh, feels to me like as something a minion would do. We have one or two minions. Jamie could be the minion, Nadine could be the minion, uh, sorry, one or two outsiders. They both could be the outsider, or one of them is. Um, but if Nadine is the outsider, she obviously isn't a demon, therefore it's Ben. That's where I'm at. 
please help. Yeah, one of me and Meanwhile, Nadine has to be good. Yeah, who do, you think well, who do you think your plot maker two is, Richie? Grolem. Grolem. Nope. No. So, meanwhile, I went around uh, after hearing that, trying to find a method so that I could try and play them. Um, but the thing is, is it, Nadine Evil would also solve the whole innkeeper acrobat thing because I believe acrobat is only if their good living neighbor is drunk or poisoned. Yep. So if Nadine is evil, then that wouldn't have propped. Uh, if um, I drunk Nadine the demon then Aggie died that night, so th that can't, and ha can't have happened. If that's why Acrobat didn't trigger, then Nadine mm -hmm. would have to be in the And I am um, also, like, when... Who died the day when... Because I think it was day three was the last time anyone's claimed to be Serenovus, so I don't know if that's pertinent or not, but it went Ben, Roland, me, Ben. I Groden, I think. Groden. Ugh. Which is why I don't really trust Ben, because I think he's been faking it. But if he was faking it, you're faking it. You were faking it too, Jamie. Oh, Groland, remember, you're my minion, so you need to trust me. Hey, Groland. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's a puppy grower, and I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, when was Ben to have woken up on night five, but not night six or three? Is there any world where Richie and I are both good? I don't think so, right? It'd have so to be Nikki and Ben. I don't think it is. I'm convinced there's a poisoner, so we need... Any information can be tainted. Or, oh, Nadine, the other worldview as well is that, like, have they made the person who can just easily get away with claiming sweetheart, you're actually the demon? Or is the no. person central to this script, the protected choir boy, actually the demon? Or you, of... your clockmaker too. My clockmaker who is just boring clockmaker two stuff. Like, uh, yeah, that's what you do. You get you get away as as demon. Could be now. Ben and Wildstar as the two. It could be Grolin, Ben, Nadine, and Richie's clockmaker two is correct. Yeah. Uh, nomination. I, I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I think I'll if nominate. Nadine was the demon, so then he, he, he Jamie the, the acrobat would have died when I in kept his neighbors. <laughs> Because Chris would have had to be drunk, um, and then yeah. Jamie would have had to be the outsider. So Nadine is not the demon. Got that much. Since I know well, that... that I'm not the Serenovus, I think that Ben and Jamie were collaborating, pretending that they're Serenovus, and then stopped when I died. The other alternative is um, since you. No. Um, <laughs> what, 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 what? The, the what other about... alternative is that the Serenovus is hidden. To Serenovus since and has died elsewhere. That is a potential. Yeah, but... that's possible. Also, Serenovus is the demon because that's funny and that works. Oh, I'm certainly reading Richie's evil. Why, curiously? I don't know. Where have you been pushing? <laughs> Second I'm, I'm very second call. Okay, Ryan, look, Richie we need, we need is the poisoner we, 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 and I, was I, drunk on night four. By me. Uh, yes, we do, but I don't need to live first because I think I could well be the only good player left in town. I mean, so I think I'll... that I think I'm thinking the same thing, but. Well, who do you want to nominate, Nadine? I trust you. Generally, want to I, but I can't tell. I, I, I don't want you to get away with it, so I think it's more because for Ben to be the demon, it would have to be Nikki is evil as well. Aggie, can you back me up here? What did I claim to you right away at the start of the game? Clockmaker. And what did I tell you I was planning to do? Uh, claim outsider, if I remember correctly. Yep, because I'd swapped with Nadine, the sweetheart, and she was playing in courtier, so I was trying to keep that bluff alive. So I, as the demon, allegedly going around claiming outsider. Like, I can get what myself... What are you saying I did the easily. same? No, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to, I get myself keep killed all the time just by accident so why would i start playing really riskily like that the fact that i've been left alive is is crazy to me but who is it if it's not it's are we still ben, in a we... poker world i don't know it's not the poe because we would have lost by now 
I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, final call for nominations. Right, Nadine, can you did. can you nominate Ben or Ben? No, can you nominate Nadine? Thank you. Can I'm you gonna nominate, nominate you. Nominate Richie, yep. Nadine. Nominate okay, Richie. I nominate Richie. Nadine nominates Richie. Nadine, tell us why. If they're both evil, then, and I'm the only last good one, I think Richie's more likely to be the demon with Ben as potentially the minion. Clockmaker 2? Why? Uh, Richie, your defence. Like, I, I don't really know what to say. Like, I've got no good stories backing me up. I've got no, no people to back me up apart from a dead Aggie who... Uh, I spoke to right at the beginning. Like, I've not got much going for me here. So no one's going to back me up. No one's got any any stuff to say. Oh yeah, I've checked him. I've confirmed him. None of that. Um, I'm just literally on my own, as far as I can tell. Okay. Uh, two votes required. So your argument is that you're lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, lo a lonely good player. You're so no lonely. So lonely. I still don't know oh. who's evil though. So. Uh, ben, could you nominate Dean? Oh, four four Richie, is you enough. Ben? Richie is currently on the block. I want Ben to nominate the Dean, to be honest. I think you're the demon, Richie. It's so. not the Dean. Uh, if, uh, Final call for nominations. Dean, I have to ten, ten seconds. Richie on the block. The thing yeah. is, Richie's not nominating as well, so... Oh. Oof. Okay, I nominate Ben because Ben's not nominated. Uh, anyone, he was you should have gone to Dean. No, Richie Dean. nominates Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, tell us why you've nominated Ben. <laughs> I'm so sad. Well, uh, this could be a genius play from Evil, so let's try and get it to five because I'm good, so you're losing. If you get it to five, there's a chance Evil just tried a genius double bluff. Um, let's give it a go, just in case. Ben, your defense. <clears throat> You've numbed the minion, <laughs> now you cannot kill Nadine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's my defense. Amazing. <laughs> well, I'm not getting sick, because down that will be hard. Nadine, I, you, <laughs> and just played a fiddle, I, you played me like a fiddle. This is a very musical game. <laughs> Seven is uh, enough. Ben is on the block. Uh, ben, I'm gonna guess you're not gonna nominate Nadine. Nah. I thought Good. you might not. Nah, Just for the demons, to be honest. <laughs> ben what is. is for? Ben is musically executed and dies, and the game is over, and the evil team has won, and shenanigans. Wow, I am literally, I'm literally shaking. There's so much adrenaline. <laughs> uh, so we had an interesting game. Uh, starting from the top, we had Aggie, your minstrel. We back to things that Aggie calls later. We next to Aggie, we had Ben, the poisoner. Ben, night one, turns around to me and goes, "Right, there's a chance that the other minion is the evil twin, right? And if I poison them, then great. If I poison the Mephit or the Serenovus, eh, it's not the biggest loss in the world." So he poisoned the other minion. We'll get back to the rest of that after that. What? Um, Hazel was the chambermaid <laughs> who was almost exclusively sober. Um, all of her information, apart from once, was correct. Uh, she was only poisoned the last night before she was executed. Gronin was the courtier who, um, um, entertainingly for Richie's bluff, did courtier the method on night one. <laughs> Unfortunately for Gronin, the method was not in play, but I liked it. it. <laughs> Madeline was your flower girl that you, you you just offed on day one, so she never got any information. Nikki was your king, who was brutally murdered on the night he would have first got information. Cat was your Serenovus, who was poisoned day uh, night one, so when she tried to make Jamie mad that he was the poppy grower, and Ben poisoned her, so Ben went, no, that's okay, I'll just swoop into that gap, and I'll claim that I've been poisoned by the poppy grower to, to offset the fact that none of the evil team called Nikki's bluff and claimed choir boy which resulted in the uh, back and forth with Ben uh, Richie was your clockmaker with a two because the two was from Kat to Nadine Nadine on night two tried to kill Kat Wildstar your innkeeper said no <laughs> <laughs> because Wildstar Sorry. protected Nikki and Kat on night two um, 
there was whilst I had several good protections, uh, we'll come back to the rest of them. Jamie was your acrobat. Uh, and Chris was your seamstress who was sober when he picked Wildstar and Cat and got that they were different alignments. Uh, Wildstar never actually gave anyone any bad information with her drunking um, because it literally wasn't possible for me to do so. Because either Wildstar was poisoned and wasn't drunking anyone or she was consistently picking people who either didn't get information or already had their information. So, gone well. Um, so yes, the night that you picked Chris and Dean, uh, Ben had already poisoned you. Uh, and also, in, in, yeah, <laughs> in the trend of, uh, of me making fuck-ups, Nadine told me she wanted to kill Richie last night and I accidentally killed Chris and I was like, cool, let's just move on. Um, what? Yeah, so, what? Was Nadine like, Richie <laughs> may have you? I, what? I, I just saw the red token and because Ben had poisoned Chris and just said Chris and, was, and I even said, no he didn't, and then was like, no, we'll just move on and no one picked up on that. I was like, cool, we'll just move on. Oh, Messaging man. Nadine going, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's 50-50. I, I, I was fine with either. I thought, I thought you decided this was a better choice. I was like, okay. Uh, well played, uh, Nadine. Yeah. You do. Oh, Nadine, yeah. well done. And Ben, uh, also well done. I, I, ben, ben carried that quite well. I, I was did it yeah. ben yeah. Yeah. twice if I was sober. <laughs> So interestingly, the uh, one did, night that got I actually and... poisoned Hazel was a night that I needed her to be sober. <laughs> So I yeah. poisoned her and she got a zero because I, that was the night that I was allegedly woke up as the choir boy. So that was the one night I needed to be sober. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I to, the thing is, I ha I really doubted about whether to do that. I fell off a cat when I got a zero on Ben. Yeah, the first, the first time, time yeah. you were minstrel drunk. Sorry, I forgot that you did have a minstrel drunk going there. Um, yeah, so Ben, I really like went back and forth on what to show Hazel when you poisoned her then because I was like... The obvious thing to do is just to back up your bluff and show a one. But I was like, no, it's going to play better into the claim you're making to make her claim directly contradict yours. <laughs> and therefore the, play into your choir boy. So, you know, yeah. it, was, it was still a worthwhile poison, I think. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Indeed, what that... were your bluffs, seriously? Go on. Gossip, Ravenkeeper and Sweethearts. Ah, uh, okay. That was Show Me the Majesty. Mm. Did we see it? <laughs> I mean, I love that. That's, <laughs> that's the most fun I've had in a game in a long time. Not that I don't enjoy games regularly, but that was just ridiculously enjoyable. <laughs> Hazel, what were the plays that um, you were hoping to get out of the script? Because you oh, said there were some fun I things really there. I don't want to say. I... I would love to, fine, fine, fine. I'll say one of the plays because either good or evil can use this play. Courtier claiming they poisoned the Popper Gorge for the town to execute the poppy grower who is Stormcut. How about that? Interesting. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. That's one thing. I mean, Ben literally mentioned the the one that I, I had already set up and sent out char and, and uh, assigned characters for, and I was like, cool, let's just redo this choosing characters then. Sorry about that. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. Wow. I am, like, legit shaking. That was, the, that was a really, really intense finish. Um, but we won. We won two games in a row. That's amazing. I almost never do that. Um, uh, it's it's a miracle if I win one game in a row. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, there is not going to be a board game stream tomorrow night. We're kind of like, we're retooling what we're going to do with the, the Friday night, sort of not blood on the clock tower streams. And we just needed to kind of take a couple of weeks off to figure it out. But we'll be back regularly streaming on Fridays next Friday. Um, don't forget to tune in on Sunday night, US. Uh, early hours of Monday morning for us Brits, because Tyler and Capelli will be running some games as usual. But in the meantime, be lovely to one another. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm. Stay cool. And uh, stick around because we're going to raid. See you in a bit.